Hello everyone, today I will tell you about the 2022 movie, Freddy. A shy dentist falls in love with a beautiful woman and kidnaps her. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be the first to watch new videos. A young man named Freddy is waiting for a girl in a restaurant. He met her online because he is too shy to meet women in real life. A beautiful girl comes into the restaurant and Freddy confesses that he has already fallen in love with her. But the date does not go well due to the fact that Freddy does not know how to talk to girls at all. He looks at her cleavage several times and the girl leaves. Freddy comes home and tells his best friend, a turtle named Garty, what happened. Freddy works as a dentist and is a respected doctor. One day, Freddy comes home after work and receives a call on his phone. An unfamiliar girl called him and asked him to meet in a cafe. She says that she found his profile on a dating site and decided to ask him on a date. Freddy, of course, agrees. The next day, Freddy comes to the cafe and waits for the girl. All the waiters look at Freddy with pity because they have been watching Freddy looking for a girlfriend for three years. 20 minutes pass, but the girl still hasn't come. Freddy notices the students at the next table. They laugh at him. Oh, Mr. Jinwala, must be regretting buying those flowers. <laughs> Freddy just walks away. At home, he talks to his turtle again and promises that he will soon find himself a wife. A few days later, Freddy and his aunt attend their relative's wedding. Aunt asks when Freddy is getting married, but Freddy doesn't know what to answer her. The woman decides to help her nephew. She tells him that the girl in the blue dress is constantly looking at him. The woman orders her nephew to come over and introduce himself. Freddy approaches the girl and asks her name. Uh, but she doesn't want to give her name to a stranger. Freddy doesn't understand why the girl answered that way. He asks why she was looking at him, but the girl says she didn't do it. Suddenly a man comes up and asks Freddy why he is talking to his wife. Freddy tries to say something, but Freddy stutters and can't explain anything. The man pushes Freddy. The woman tells her nephew that if she had not lied, he would never have approached the girl. At night, Freddy has a very pleasant dream. The next day, Freddy comes to work and treats his patient's teeth. But suddenly, a girl comes into the office and Freddy immediately recognizes her. The girl's name is Kaya. She tells the doctor that she needs to have her wisdom teeth removed. Freddy, of course, agrees to help her. He examines the girl's oral cavity, but is distracted by her cleavage. He says that she should take an x-ray and come tomorrow for surgery to remove the tooth. In the evening, Freddy comes home and fantasizes about how in the future, he and Kaya will get married and become a happy family. The next day, Kaya comes to the dental clinic. Freddy tells her that she will have to undergo anesthesia. The girl thought that tooth extraction was carried out without the use of anesthesia, but Freddy assures that anesthesia is necessary. The girl falls asleep on the operating table. Freddy leans over and wants to kiss the girl, but restrains himself and begins to perform the operation. After the operation, the girl thanks the doctor and leaves. Freddy finds the girl's address and after work drives to her apartment. Meanwhile, the girl returns home. Her husband asks where she has been for so long. She says that she was with a friend, but her husband does not believe her and begins to threaten. Freddy sees all this and gets out of the car. He wants to help, but because of fear, he does not dare to help. Freddy comes home and goes to bed. In a dream, he sees his parents. That day, his father shot Freddy's mother and then shot himself in the head. After this, Freddy suffered psychological trauma. The next day, Freddy refuses to see patients. He only thinks about Kai. Freddy decides to call the girl. He tells her that she was supposed to come to the clinic for an examination, but the girl says that she cannot come. Then he suggests meeting near her house so he can examine her tooth. Kaya agrees to a short meeting. They meet in the park. Freddy notices a bruise on the girl's face and hugs her. Freddy gives her ice cream and tries to cheer her up by telling scary jokes. A few minutes later, Kaya says that she has to go home before her husband returns. She thanks Freddy for making her laugh. In the evening, Freddy comes by car to her house again. He calls the girl on the phone, but Kaya doesn't want to talk now. 
she asks Freddy to call a little earlier next time. From this day on, Freddy and Kaya begin to walk together every day. Freddy tells his aunt that he has found himself a wife. One day, Freddy brings the girl to his home and introduces her to Hardy. The girl likes to spend time together. They come to an expensive restaurant and Kaya says that she dreams of being the owner of the same restaurant. A few days later, Freddy asks the girl why she can't divorce her husband, but Kaya says that then her husband will kill her. They go to the cinema, and during the movie, Freddy plucks up courage and kisses the girl. The girl also kisses Freddy, but after that, Kaya stopped answering calls and messages. Freddy arrives at her apartment and sees a beaten girl. She hugs him, and Freddy proposes marriage. But Kaya says that she is already married, and she doesn't know what to do. The next day, Freddy meets with the girl again and tells her that he has come up with a plan. He decides to kill her husband. Kaya tries to dissuade Freddy, but ultimately agrees. In the evening, Freddy takes his gun and drives to Kaya's house. He waits until the man leaves the house. Kaya's husband starts his evening jog. Freddy starts chasing him and hits him with his car. But the man is still alive. Freddy runs him over again with his car and leaves town. Freddy comes to his friend and asks him to fix his car. Freddy lives in their house for a week and helps local residents. The police begin an investigation, but there is virtually no chance of finding the killer. Freddy goes to his girlfriend to finally marry her. He knocks on the door of her apartment, but she is not the one who opens the door. An unfamiliar man opened the door. Freddy doesn't understand who it is and asks to call Kaya. And when Kaya arrives, it becomes clear that the girl was using Freddy. She had been deceiving him all this time and pretending to love him. In fact, she has a boyfriend and she wanted to get rid of her husband in order to inherit a restaurant. The girl insults Freddy and says that it was very difficult for her to tolerate his presence. She says that if Freddy comes here again, she will tell the police that he is a murderer. She has photographs of Freddy sitting in a car near the house. Freddy can't just leave. He wants the girl to apologize and marry him. But her boyfriend hits Freddy and forces him to leave. Freddy returns home, where his friend Hardy is waiting for him. In the morning, Freddy burns all his clothes that he recently bought. Meanwhile, Kaya becomes the new owner of the restaurant. She fulfilled her dream. Freddy comes to his aunt and tells him that his girlfriend betrayed him. The woman says that he should never give up and Freddy decides to act. He comes to the restaurant to see Kaya. Freddy sits down at the table and asks the waiter to serve him a cocktail. Freddy drinks a few cocktails while Kaya and her boyfriend look on. Raymond comes up and spits into the glass, but this does not stop Freddy, and he drinks the contents of the glass. Raymond orders Freddy to leave. At this moment, Freddy decides to take revenge. The next day, he secretly sneaks into Kaya's apartment and mixes allergic substances into her cosmetics. He also adds sleeping pills to food and does something on his laptop. Kaya and Raymond enter the apartment. Freddy is hiding outside the window. Kaya immediately goes to the bathroom and begins to wash herself, after which she sits down at the table and begins to have lunch with Raymond. Freddy waits until nightfall and sneaks into the apartment. He goes into the bedroom and checks if the couple is sleeping. A rash has already appeared on Kaya's face. Freddy takes the girl's phone and deletes all his photos from there and also leaves one message to himself. He also takes Raymond's phone and deletes all the photos. Freddy then punches Raymond in the face and lies down on the bed. After lying down for a while, Freddy gets up and goes outside. He breaks Raymond's car and leaves. At night, Kaya wakes up and notices an allergy on her face. She wakes Raymond up and asks him to urgently take her to the hospital. They get into the car and drive out onto the road, but suddenly the brakes fail. Ramon loses control and crashes. They take a taxi to the hospital and Kaya blames Raymond for what happened. The next day, Kaya receives a call on her phone. The waiters tell her that the restaurant was closed due to a customer complaint. She arrives at the restaurant and finds out that one of the customers found a lizard in the food. At this point, Freddy sneaks into Kaya's apartment and uses her laptop to download a photo of her with her new boyfriend. Kaya immediately understands that Freddy is to blame for everything. They go to his place and break into his apartment. Raymond starts beating Freddy, but the police enter the apartment and stop the fight. The police want to detain Raymond, but Kaya publicly accuses Freddy of murder. 
She says she has proof. She tries to find the photo on her phone but finds nothing. The policeman asks Freddy if he wants to file a report against this couple, but Freddy doesn't want to file a police report. Kaya and Raymond arrive home and are very angry about what happened. They come up with a plan for revenge. The next day, they break into Freddy's apartment and destroy furniture. Afterwards, they come home. Freddy enters his apartment and sees that his entire apartment is destroyed and there is a bullet on the threshold. He calls Kaya and says that he also left them a gift. He released a snake in the apartment. Kai is very afraid of snakes and cannot stay in the apartment overnight. They go to the hotel and she calls Freddy again and asks, Have you ever tried turtle soup? Freddy starts looking for his turtle and realizes that his friend is no longer there. Freddy gets very angry and tells Kaya that they killed his turtle in vain. The next day, Freddy buries the box of his turtle's belongings and goes to the police station. The police are questioning Freddy because his car was seen by homeless people at the time of the murder. Freddy admits that it was his car. He tells a made-up story about Kyer and Raymond threatening him. They tricked Freddy into taking his car to kill her husband. He shows a message from Kaya. Freddy also says that they killed his turtle. The police promise Freddy to punish the culprits and sort out the situation. They release him and call Kaya and Raymond to the station. Freddy asks his friend to give him a house for a couple of days. Freddy calls Kaya and offers to meet and talk. Kaya agrees. She thinks this is the best time to kill him. They arrive outside the city to a house where Freddy is waiting for them. Freddy puts the gun on the table and says that they shouldn't have killed Hardy. Kaya says that she is very sorry that they did this. Kaya grabs a gun and points it at Freddy. She begins to humiliate him and says that she was disgusted to be next to him. She pulls the trigger, but the gun is unloaded. Freddy knocks out Raymond and Kaya. He ties them to a chair and says that a long time ago, teeth were pulled out without anesthesia. Meanwhile, the police are trying to find Kaya and Raymond. They check the camera footage and see the couple packing up their things and leaving. Police think the couple fled town. Freddy says he just wanted an apology, but after the death of his turtle, he decided to act more harshly. Kaya says that it was Raymond who killed the turtle and boiled it alive. She says that they still have a chance. They can be together. Freddy says she's right. He approaches Raymond and begins to pull out his teeth. When Freddy finishes the procedure, he takes Raymond's body out and puts it in the grave. He returns to Kaya and says that she has very good teeth. But extraction karna padega. <laughs> Freddy finishes and takes the still living Kaya outside. He puts her in a hole and buries her in the ground. At the end, Freddy lies down on the ground and realizes that now he will not allow anyone to treat him like that. And this is where the film ends. Write your opinion about this in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to watch new videos first.